One common question that I face from parents or in places where I give a talk is, how do you identify a child who has got a congenital heart problem? As soon as the child is born, normally a child cries. A first cry is very important. Children who are not crying when they are born, children who are deeply blue and needs resuscitation, as such, children should be closely look at their pediatricians for possibilities of congenital heart problems. But a mother is the best possible doctor. She can identify problems in her child from the very get-go. One of the first symptoms you should look for is that, does your child completely finish feeding? Or during feeding, does the child have to stop often enough? Is the child sweating on its forehead? Does the child get tired during feeding and has to stop feeding? There's one sign. There's another sign, which is called cyanosis in medical language. What it basically means is a bluish discoloration of the skin, either or around the lips or on the fingertips or the legs. Even the fingers and the legs of the hands of the baby could be very cold. This is one good sign that says that not enough oxygenated blood is coming to the child. Another common sign is a lack of proper weight gain in the child. A child should normally be gaining weight and come to at least three to four times his birth weight by the first year of age. If your child is not progressing normally on the scale, talk to your pediatrician. Probably your child has a congenital heart disease that needs looking in. Every child should have regular pediatric visits where the pediatrician should take time to use a stethoscope and hear the heart sounds of the child. If any murmurs are heard, this is another sure sign that you need to come and see a pediatric cardiologist or a pediatric cardiac surgeon to find out if there's a development anomaly in the child's heart. Thank you.